Hey guys, what's going on? This is Squirrely. Thanks for joining me on this behind the scenes bonus commentary. I wanted to uh, give you guys sort of a behind the scenes look of the movie, show some extra clips that didn't make the movie, and give you sort of a director's cut and explain uh, why or why not things did or didn't make the movie, why I edit it certain ways, how I set it up, um, how I direct and did things, just because the movie was only released about four days ago. I released it at like 10 o'clock at night, which wasn't the best timing, but I mean, the movie's been blown up on the forums and on YouTube and everything, so I thought it'd be cool to make a little director's commentary uh, for people who want to get into movie making or, or, or uh, get into Quake or comedies or just, just anything. And uh, the Pub Masters from CS 1.6, which is where I'm from, you might have seen those movies if you played Counter-Strike or Remember My Name, but I wanted to kind of bring that to Quake because it's such a serious, hardcore, you know, old school game. I wanted to bring a very fun, lighthearted um, comedy to Quake. So this is what I did. I'm going to go ahead and start the movie and I'll go through it, answer questions along the way too. So the movie starts off with Rick Rolled, which um, some people loved it, some people hated it, but a lot more people liked it because you get Rick Rolled all the time on videos and it's a downer. You get Rick Rolled and you're like, oh, it's not, I wanted to see this chick's boobs and I got Rick Rolled. Son of so I made it so that you get Rick Rolled, but it is actually the movie. You're like, okay, cool, they, they got me, but it's cool. And then it starts off with Fatality, did a little intro for us. Thanks a lot to Fatality. He helped us out with a lot of scenes and promoting the video, so thanks a lot to him. Most of the clips towards the end of the movie are with Fatality, the big organized team and skits and stuff like that. And then it just showed the pub intro real quick, or the pub logo that I made. I want it to be kind of theatrical, uh, like 20th Century Fox, you know, like big and in your face and pump you up and get you ready for the movie. Which then leads us into the intro, which is... Me and Black Sheep doing a head run across a couple of different maps. And um, the intro is very important because you want it to lead to something, but you don't want to give them too much. You might want to show one really cool clip or one cool frag just to catch their attention, but you also want it to lead into to the movie. You're building up basically the suspense. So this music I use in this editing was to make it sort of dreamy and foggy. And you're like, what's going on? These people are head running. What the heck? But it's long enough that it gave me time uh, to let the music build up and then also introduced the members, introduced Fatality, introduced the movie, and all that stuff. But it also, the head running's just foggy enough that you can see it, but also not foggy enough that you, uh, that you can't see it. So you're like, okay, this is kind of cool. These people are head running on a map, and there's text kind of building up. You know, the time has come, now presenting, stuff like that. So then we'll get into the intro. And uh, during this whole movie, I'll be answering questions. I'm getting a lot of questions on YouTube, on Quake Live Chat, on the forums. So... Uh, I'll be doing that. This intro right here, that's me gaunting a list of, I think, like 12 or 13 people. Thanks for holding still. That that effect came out really cool. I just did that on a green screen in Wolf Cam and then brought it into Sony Vegas. And uh, and that came out pretty good. So that, that worked as a cool intro. And this right here, the timing with the music, came out really nice. I'm just kind of introducing scenes, you know, sneaky spots and cool head stacks and just messing around on maps. And then uh, it picks up into the real, the first real scene um, in the movie that, that has all of us doing tricks and goofy stuff. And this is on Space Camp, which is a dev pick a while ago. And there were so many funny hiding spots and little glitched areas. I thought this one was kind of funny. It's me and Clan Arena hiding from people. And that's us playing with the bubbles. We did a lot of stuff with bubble games, just testing out what we could do, what we couldn't do. Um, and this is the first three-man head run you see in the movie. Which is, uh, we get into four man, five man, six man, eight man. I mean, we could have gone on forever, but um, the music and the movement's very important. And most of my clips, unless it's a cool setup, a cool um, composition, it's a movie. Like right there, it's a cool composition. It's kind of a rounded, we go in one door and out one door. And so it's important to have things going on and off the screen to, to create some movement. Um, but most of the camera stuff, I'm either rotating or driving by or zooming in. Um, unless it's a really cool setup like that, we're kind of creating a pyramid, there's a guy off screen. The camera's usually moving, unless, like I said, there's, there's already movement on it. And this is a scene we did with Fatality. We did, it's kind of a follow the leader game. We're all chasing Fatality through this map. There's like 13 of us trying to chase him down. And we're doing okay until right here when he dives under the door. And uh, apparently we all suck, nobody can crouch in time. So that was kind of a funny clip. This is me and Insects just doing a flag, uh, a flag run, seeing how fast we could do it. I drop it down, he jumps across mid. This clan arena, that's uh, insects and black sheep up in the little uh, arch areas. And then uh, the music, I had to edit the music just because it didn't fit right. A lot of people try to make their uh, 
make their frags match their music. Or excuse me, they do the opposite. They make their music try to match their frags, which is pretty hard to do. You want to do pick an awesome song and then edit your clips for that. So then the music is what sells your video, basically. If they don't like the music, I mean, that's where I got a lot of dislikes. The ones that I did get on the forums or the YouTube, because people are like, oh, I don't like this song, dislike. It's like, well, so you don't like the entire movie because you don't like one song. You don't like Hillary. I mean, who cares? It's about the movie. It's about the content. So, I mean, you've seen videos on YouTube or anywhere that's got awesome content or awesome frags and the music sucks. It totally kills the whole movie or vice versa, you know. The song's really catchy, but these frags are very, you know, average. So this is going to take us into intermission, which is a lot of fun to do. I started off with a WTF boom thing. This is Black Sheep. <laughs> so thanks, Black Sheep, for playing a girl for a while. Uh, he was kind of upset because his name pops up when I explode. But there's so many WTF booms. I, I wanted to do my own, and that one just kind of came to my head. And this one a lot of people really like, which is such a simple clip. It's just uh, Sarge sinking into the lava or the acid with Terminator 2 music, which is from the end of Terminator 2, which is an awesome movie. I think it's from the 80s. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch Terminator 2. It's an awesome movie. And then we get into Metal Gear Solid right here. Uh, another awesome game with very catchy theme music for the PlayStation 1. I remember playing that to death in grade school. So Metal Gear Solid, another awesome game. And this, we had this clip, and I just wanted to make something fit with it because it looked kind of cool. And I figured, what the heck? Okay, Braveheart, you know? You know, one guy on his own, he screams out before he dies, and Braveheart. This 300 scene was Insects' idea, and we couldn't really find a map that worked for it, but except this one had a bridge, and the way I edited it, I said, you know, what the heck, it should work, so. And then there's a John Carmack's little pop-up toasty thing, which is from Mortal Kombat, which is used, I think used to play Reptile if you hit select or start in time when reptile popped up so that's kind of the little easter egg for this video if you hit you know click on a uh, car mac in time it takes you to this commentary and there's spider-man that's hook mod a lot of people ask you know how'd you do that we had sponge and sync here turn on hook mod for us in a freeze tag server so that's how we did those scenes the spider-man races and this is x-men marvel a couple other guys and the theme music for the old x-men cartoon is just it's so awesome it's a part of our you know our childhood growing up, and I had all these models and characters, so I just, I had to use them somehow, and that's the clip I made. And this clip, that's Fatality. There's a bunch of us next to him, but he was moonwalking for a while down this strip, and it looks so cool. It's such a simple, quick, easy clip, but with the Michael Jackson music, it just worked out perfect. This Matrix scene with Neo actually was one of my favorite, because it took us maybe three or four minutes to make, but it came out so perfect. Like, everything we did, the editing, the music, it just everything fit. And just synced up together so nicely. It looks like a little Matrix scene. So uh, that's Tanner's actually the guy who he was playing Neo and gone to the saw. He had too much fun recording that scene. Uh, Jurassic Park was another one a lot of people really liked. It starts off very theatrical and a beautiful landscape, and there's these dinosaurs roaming, and then you get into uh, the characters who are talking really quick. It says, "Shut up, rookie!" And then I say, "Wait a second, you forgot? You forget to lock the back door?" And then uh, everybody, the dinosaurs, the T-Rexes, the raptors, whatever they are, attack us. And um, that scene was a lot of fun to do. I think we only did two or three takes. and then, uh, But it worked out perfectly. And the slow mos kind of goes with the music, the beautiful, slow Jurassic Park music, very theatrical, you know. And then it's a bunch of people getting raped by dinosaurs, basically. And the ending with my body getting gibbed is perfectly timed with the music, too. So that was kind of neat. This is probably one of my favorite to do. If you haven't seen Starship Troopers, it is probably one of the best B-movies ever made. It's got sci-fi, aliens, naked chicks, machine guns. I mean, it's just an awesome movie. So this is a scene from there. It's one of the outposts, I think 49. Towards the end of the, end of the first movie, the second and third movie suck. Just see the first one, Starship Troopers. Um, but it's, they get overrun by all these bugs, and I just I wanted to use the sound effects and the bug models, and just it came out really cool. We'll have our outposts get invaded by these bugs, and we're trying to fight them off. So something you don't see in Quake very much, but the models were awesome, so I I, I had to use them. And then after that part, it takes us into the last two segments, which are all team clips, tricks, funny stuff, random stuff. Um, but let's see, well that that's showing. I will talk about oh programs used. A lot of people ask me exactly what I use to do the whole thing. Uh, Quake Live, obviously the plugin, which is free. If you, if you don't play Quake Live, you just go to quakelive.com, download a plugin, you can play for free. Sony Vegas, which is good enough. I mean, I used to use 
um, Final Cut and then Adobe After Effects and stuff. But Sony Vegas is fine for just general purposes. Uh, then I used Fraps. I just Fraps at the highest def that I could with a decent frame rate, which on YouTube it kind of killed it. Um, but my laptop couldn't handle super high frame rates and tons. I mean, I already had uh, um, half a terabyte. I had almost 500 gigs of footage, so that was plenty. And actually, we're, they're doing the headwording right now, which is a big part of the movie. We showed a five man, which took forever. And this six man that's that's running right now actually only took, I think, maybe 10 minutes. And the five man and some of the four mans took forever. And there's a that's a nice clip of me launching, <laughs> launching the guy through window, which is kind of hard to cross the middle on Dueling Keep. So that's that was a, a nice clip. That's insects playing Limbo. And this is me and TDM, just a random game, team killing my player or my teammate. Uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. Oh, I also use Photoshop. That's how I did a lot of the green screen stuff. I would just make a full screen, make a green screen, uh, or add in things that I needed to in Photoshop. So uh, Audacity is what I'm using. What I'm using to record this, as well as what I use to edit some of the songs. Uh, and then Ventrilo. We use Ventrilo to organize some of the games because that's one of the hardest things to do is to get 12 or 15 people on the same page. Because usually it's one guy initiating something. Uh, like initiating the run or the trick or the jump or the chase or whatever it is. So everybody else has got to be on the same page, and there's always somebody who's not paying attention or left to go pee or is or isn't on Ventrilo, so it's pretty hard. But actually, it all came together. This is our eight-man head run, or head walk, actually. Um, and we could have done 10 or 12 or whatever, but people kept leaving, like I said, or somebody wasn't paying attention. So we got an eight-man. It looked good. I said, okay, we're done. That's it. And then here's our submarine battle, which is pretty fun. And then the nuke chain or kamikaze chain I wanted to do on that map, which is pretty cool. That's a dev pick. That was Tacti Quake a while ago. And then this is uh, the, the glitch, the flight glitch, which you can do on Overlord. You can do on uh, Distant Screams, which is it looks kind of funny from there, the person's point of view. And this is the ice sculpture. I always wanted to make a tower of like ice, so I thought it'd be cool to make a big ice sculpture and have them all explode at the same time. So it was nice... We had to use hook mod actually to get that to work because when you're stacking on teammates, um, you're too close. Or even if you split people, you're too close and you thaw each other out. And then this is me and Black Sheep head running on base siege. And he took a, a rocket shot to mid at the guy who's on red and just landed a perfect direct hit. And that, that scene was one of the highlights. So I, I used it to end the song and take us into the last, the last section of scenes, which is actually Fatality. These are all clips we did with Fatality, which were a lot of fun. I would just... You know, get a group of ideas, write them down, and then just go over different ones. And whichever one looks the best, then we would use. So we'd give him, like, quad or battle suit and have us, you know, 15 versus him. This was a trap shoot game that we played, which is pretty fun. I would shoot up, and then we'd all take shots at me. And these are just mass suicides. I thought it would be cool to see, you know, 14 people drowning or burning or exploding. And uh, this scene came out really good, the Gaunt Tower, which leads us in uh, to the mass suicide squish. And then the last scene the uh, nade to, to go into credits so this will take us into our bonus clips i'll talk about why i didn't make it and how i edited it stuff like that so this two man it looked cool but i mean it, it was kind of too long see how long it dragged out nobody died or anything here's another two man which we had a lot of two man stuff three man stuff i just don't want to use it all um here's another two man run this is me and insects and um i wanted to kind of highlight the jump right there i mean which is it's kind of hard to do but it just wasn't that great visually. More uh, jumping off. I mean, we had tons and tons of footage of this stuff. This is a pass, so it's a two-man pass to one guy, pass to another guy. I think we did a six or seven pass once, but <laughs> me and Insects teabagging, which is one of my favorite things to do. And then this is just a nice composition. We're kind of hiding behind the torch, and then a three-man runs out. But we already had a lot of three-man stuff that built up to it, so I did use that clip. A um, bunch of us Insects farting kind of <laughs> on the jump pad. And this is a green screen that I wasn't going to use for the intro, but I liked the other one better just because this one was kind of slow. And so either I would have to speed it up or keep it slow. This is the firing squad, firing squad clip where we all turn around. Um, and this is just a clip of us kind of in a funny spot. I had a huge folder of us in funny spots, hiding spots, glitch spots, um, glitched spots. Um, but I didn't want to make the movie about glitches and hiding spots and useless places, so... You know, those things can be patched or changed or edited later. So I wanted to make it more about just Quake Live and how it is if you just went on and played it for free. Um, so I wanted to be more creative and open with those ideas. And there's a <laughs> fat biker teabagging. 
this clip is me right here when I blocked my teammate from capturing the flag on Vortex. And I wanted to use it, but it was just kind of slow and too long. And it didn't work with the editing and the music. So I just left it out. I thought I would throw it in here. But it's funny because he dies and he drops the flag onto me in the bubble and I capture the flag. Uh, some starships, or uh, excuse me, Star Wars stuff. We had, a, we had a whole Star Wars wedding with a bunch of people. And then Boba Fett comes in and assassinates the bride. And I had so many Star Wars characters that I, I wanted to do something with it, but the editing, it was taking forever, and it didn't come out how I wanted, and people were out of place, and it was too hard to cut and crop and mask, and I just said, forget it. This is a stupid scene. A guy lags and then teleports behind me and kills me, which happens too often. Oh, and that's Fatality when we played an FFA game, and uh, everybody was fighting using guns, but me, Black Sheep, and Fatality were all gaunting, and it was kind of funny because he won the FFA game. He got 50 kills gaunting, pummeling the whole time, which is pretty funny. Uh, here's me just I had a, I had a whole folder called uh, dancing dodging and something else I think chasing of, of us just running from people or dodging gunfire or whatever this seems funny because they're about to cap he runs into his base then he finds out there's four guys hiding around the corner we played a lot of insta ictf um, which everybody uses rail guns but once in a while everybody be cool enough if we do you know eight versus eight dueling keeps but we do gaunt only which is a lot of fun and here's some clips of me just playing with the Gibbs, which you can't play with in Quake Live. You have to turn them on a wolf cam later and get the uh, Gib pack. But this was going to be the ending credits. I was going to use these Gibbs to bounce around. Here's some more scenes with me and uh, Black Sheep just testing out. That was a new map released a while ago. We were testing out um, just things you can do, tricks you can do. I put this in because this is insects. He does four rocket jumps. He didn't have haste. He didn't have regen. He didn't have a. He didn't have anything. He actually has like four health right now until he picks up a health bubble and then uh, caps it. But it was just, I thought it was a cool run. And this is Insects again. Uh, he had a nice air rocket he shot way down the corner, and uh, he hits me on the way out. But he had enough clips, and the, with the timing, he just didn't fit in. That's, an, that's another clip of Insects getting an air rocket with the BFG. And this was going to be Insects' intro. Kind of a nice drive-by. It shows people, you know, the action moving, and it finishes with the air rocket. And this one almost went in because the original air rocket hit there is Nestada. And then Insects rocket jumps and, and air rockets him again to finish him. So it's kind of a cool teamwork thing, but I didn't make it. And that's Insects hiding around the corner. Insects hiding on top of uh, Ironworks, which is a spot that it's kind of hard to get up there and stay up there. So that was cool. Another version of the Kamikaze mod that was out a while ago, Dev Pick, just a different angle. And this clip right here, I, I didn't get a good clean window to window jump there during a game. So I didn't use it, but that was just a clip that I was trying to use right there. And we had a lot of people lagged out as a lag out clip. That's kind of funny. I was going to use that for my outro. This is Jiggly Boots, which is, I just ran by him, and somehow he got back in front of me and died. Um, this is a holy shit moment by me, just a random air rocket I shot. This is me being team killed on the uh, little launch pad, the guy falling on my head. And it happening again from an enemy, which I don't know the odds of that, but... That happens way too often to me where I'm on a pad or going somewhere and somebody lands on my head and I just die. It's whatever. Here's the dancing scene we did, which I was going to use for the credits. I was going to have a whole dancing section with the timing and the clips. It just didn't work out. Here's a mean fatality camping with quad. Another clip I had, it's which is from a while ago, actually, is me camping there with quad. And I get like 12 or 15 kills, which is kind of funny. But it was kind of a long clip and I drug out, so I didn't use it. And here's just two clips of double rails, which we had doubles, triples, and we actually had a lot of them, but it just, it didn't work out with the editing and the music. It wanted to be more fast paced, boom, next thing, boom, next thing. I don't want to overuse anything. And then here's uh, some people rage quitting. Here's a really nice shot by Sheep. Shoots a rocket through the crack um, on Mega, which is from his movie, actually. So I kind of didn't want to use anything from his movie, um, but it's a really cool clip. And, uh, it looked nice, but he just had other stuff that I thought was better. And that spot up there, that's me. I already used that spot in the intro. I didn't want to show it again. Um, this is Sheep again. He jumps off two guys' heads. I think one of them is mine. And he gets two kills mid, um, which it looks, it actually looks almost staged because he does it so perfectly, but that's totally just randomly during a game. And this slow motion nuke I did because you see kamikazes all the time, um, but they're so fast, so I wanted to see, you know, what it looked like in slow-mo. How, how did it look exactly? And it looks really cool, actually, but it was too slow. And this scene right here is me, <clears throat> and it's a cool double rocket jump, and I was going to play uh, the Superman music right here when I go flying across the screen. 
but uh, it was too long and it didn't really time with the music, so it didn't work out. But it's, it's a, I like that clip. This is Clander, Tander's clip, which I lost and I found later, so I put it in here. But it's a funny gaunt because he hits the guy like six times. And I like that scene a lot because you show the flag guy, he's in he's in screen, or he's in uh he's in he's in the camera screen, and then he's he's going to Mega, which you can see, you know, running away from somebody, and then Tanders falls on and pummels him before he gets it. And that's the spot we did some a lot of stuff, the drownings, uh, the mass the other scenes. This takes us into the last scene, which is me just blocking a guy from capturing because we have the seven caps, which is just a random kind of a funny scene. He dies, and somebody else picks it up, and then he dies, and um, after that scene, it takes us into uh, teleporter spam, which I'm kind of just spamming a teleporter, and then somebody comes up, and then he dies. And then the pub mines, which was kind of cool. We were trying to do different things, you know, smiley faces, write stuff, the pub thing. It looked cool, but it was just too slow. We didn't use it. And then the bots, I played with some bots, and I was testing out models, and that's just 16 Gumbies trying to got me. So, all right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Maybe I'll make some uh, more commentary later or answer questions, but... There's a lot of clips I didn't make it. I just grabbed a couple. Um, what else didn't make it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had a clip of that. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. You got to see some extra clips. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed the movies. You got some laughs out of it. I got a lot of good attention um, and a lot of good response from people um, all over from different forums and emails and stuff. So it's good to know that all that hard work and time paid off. Um, and I gave something really fun and entertaining to the Quake community. Something different than, you know, hardcore frags and, uh, you know, teamwork and skills, stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in game. Don't forget to teabag.